Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this demo, I will show you how Logistash works with the help of minimal configuration. Let's begin our session. For this particular demo, I am using version 6.8 of Logistash. So first we need to download that version. You can search on Logistash download. This, you can click on this link you will land on the download page so here from here you can download this you need to select the windows here so this is the latest version here showing 8.3.2 if we want to go to previous version since we are using 6.8 so we go we can go to here we can select from this drop down 6.8 and we can click here We need to go to here and we need to click on zip. So it will download the zip file of logstash 6.8. Once it is downloaded, you need to unzip it. After unzipping, the folder structure will look like this. I will also post this download link in the description of the video this is the configuration file we will use this is the logist test configuration file the extension is ml so this configuration file would be present here this you need to go to the configuration of your and what you need to do one configuration file would already present so you need you can copy that and you can edit that and you can rename it this like this after that you can use this these configuration this configuration if you want to also do the demo in your system this you can copy that content i will also post this content in the description so once once we done with this this is the configuration file i am using then we need to start the log test so this is the how to start the log test so this is the log test dot bat this hyphen minus f and the location of the path of the configuration file log test dot ml so you need to launch this in the cmd i already launched here and you need to run that command so i am running that command it will start the log stash so let's wait for the seconds the log stash is started now let's have a look on the configuration file so in the configuration file we will have a three section so this is the input component this is the input component and it receive the data from the it is res responsible for receiving the data from the source defined source here it is console so it will receive log test will receive the data from the console so here i have configured standard input so stdin okay so means it is receiving the data from the standard input means console here and the output is the standard output so it will log state will send the data to the console it will receive the data from console will send the data to the console and filter i am not using any configuration for filter we can comment this out whole section or we can leave it as it is in future videos we will see how to use this this filter for this demo we will see the flow how it works and this is the basically the structure of the log test configuration file the log test is started now here you can see it is blinking cursor is blinking means it is waiting for the input so let's enter something hi welcome to the session yeah so logistas has received the input and logistas has sent to the output which is the console itself so here this is the message we entered and this is the format of the output 
send by the log test so here the version message this is the message we have entered timestamp the source source is the field we have added extra field so this is the optional it is not required just for the sake of showing it how to use this add field i have used this add field property so here add field you can give any key and any value so whatever we will give here in the output basically that would be part of the output so here you can see source so main important is the masses and other uh, some default version host timestamp other default fields so this is the structure of the output and this is the message we have entered so this is the simple we will send the data to the elastic search for the indexing we are receiving the data from console and we are sending the data to the console only so here is the configuration in future videos we will see we will modify these inputs we will receive the data from file wheat this demo is for the to understand the flow the basic configuration we need we require for the log test so there are so much complexity we can add here also in the out section input section the filter so in the future or coming videos we will see the, those things also that's it for th this session thanks for watching